All right, how's it going, Planet Poke subscribers? It is Camzor back here again today. Today, I'm bringing you another episode of our uh, Let's Battle series. So today's match will be a standard and new match against a guy who I found off the Smogon Battle Finder. His name is Wongsta. He's a pretty good battler. I really enjoyed this battle. It was a really, really close battle. And by the way, um, Wongsta's channel, he will be starting a new channel soon. And I don't know what this channel name is, but it will be started soon, so look out for that. And without further ado, we are going to jump straight into this match. So, let's go. Alright, so first I'm going to lead off my Ludicolo, my awesome Ludiolo. And he's going to lead off with his, tor his Turquoil. I'm going to go ahead and set up my Rain with the Rain Dance, just so I can get my Swiss Swim Boost. And power up my surf so I, so I can clean K one hit KO this Torkoal. And he goes up for set of his rocks like I predicted, so I, got, I knew I had time to get up a safe rain dance. And I go for the surf. It's gonna be a clean one hit KO on this Torkoal. I guess he's just gonna. I guess his only use on this team was to set up rocks. I mean, I find out later in the battle that he has a Sun team, so I guess it could have been useful during that um, battle during that part. But um, it's gone now, so that's not important. But he's gonna go for the sunny day as he sends in his Vol Beat, which is gonna pretty much negate my. Um, to get my rain dance and cut my um, surf's attack power in half, which is just very dreadful for me. And he's gonna use an encore, which is just gonna lock me into that unpowerful surf, which is gonna be pretty depressing for me. But um, I'm gonna go for another surf, just trying to get as much damage off as I can because I'm pretty sure surf is still looking to be a three-hit KO. And as look at, as it's looking to be a three-hit KO, he switches out his um, torque and he goes into his victory bow. So I'm gonna hit him with the surf. It's gonna do actually a decent chunk for his sun to be up and for it to be on, or and for victory bow to resist it. So I'm gonna switch out. Little YOLO make a very very bad switch here I don't know what I was thinking I'm gonna go to my executor and I'm gonna not only take damage from the rocks but I'm gonna get destroyed by the sludge bomb because I don't know what I was thinking for some reason I guess when I was battling I forgot victory bell was also a poison type and which is pretty much is probably its main use in this team for taking out grass threats as well so I'm gonna go to my Glaceon and here's where my unfamiliar with the NUT my unfamiliarity with the NU, NU2 just NU tier just came and bit me in the back uh, he uses the Weather Ball on me with Chlorophyll. He's faster than me, of course, and the Weather Ball is Fire type. It's unboosted. Definitely gonna clean kit, kit, clean one hit KO Glaceon. So I'm gonna go to my Gardevoir next, and I'm gonna go trace his Chlorophyll, which is gonna make me faster than him. Then I'm gonna, and anyway, I'm scarfed and I've got the Chlorophyll. It's definitely gonna be out, able to outspeed him, kill him, kill him off with the Psychic. So that's that. Got a th massive threat out the way. I seriously thought that threat would have like KO'd my whole team, but I don't know. So he switches into his Executor. I'm gonna go to my Garbodor just because I thought I could threaten him out, but I forgot he got forgot he has a Psy Shock. But first, before he does that, he's gonna go ahead and set up a sub, which is gonna be very helpful to him because pretty much anything I throw at him it may break his sub, but he's gonna get a free hit off on me. And I'm gonna get some HP back with the Black Sludge, which I, which is good because I'm gonna need as much HP as I as I can to take this next attack. And I get hit with Psy Shock. The HP goes down, 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 and it stops at about. Uh, le a lot less than half, so um, I'm gonna go for the clearest mod and break his sub, which is pretty much my main goal because now, even though I'll leave Garbodor in Death Fodder, at least he doesn't have a sub to um, back to watch his back. So next, whatever I send in next with my with my switch in initiative, I should be able to um, easily easily counter Executor since I have switch initiative, and I'm gonna faint with my Garbodor, which is okay because it's Death Fodder, and. He he is just gonna sit there and enjoy his um, his lead in the battle. I think he has, and I'm gonna go with my guard of war. Trace his chlorophyll again, which is scarfed and trace. Trace chlorophyll. I'm clearly a lot faster than this than this executor, and I'm gonna trick him with my I'm scar give him the scarf, and he's gonna go ahead and set up a sub. Now, pretty much this was I thought this was a really good play on my part because not only really, not only have I gotten rid of my annoying scarf and I've gotten the chlorophyll ability, but I've locked him into a substitute, and I pretty much crippled his executor because he can't set up any subs anymore, so that makes one of his moves on his move set useless. But he's gonna um, call his executor back and go in his grump pig, and I'm gonna use a shadow ball, predicting him to either stay in with his executor so I can hit it hard, or I can um. Uh, or hit whatever he has in the switch, whatever he has to switch into hard with the shadow ball. So he switches into grump pig. I'm gonna hit it with the shadow ball, and here's where a game changing, I, I mean a game mattering play happened. If I was able to two hit KO that Gardevoir like I thought, I, not not a Gardevoir, excuse me, that grump pig like I thought I would be able to, I thought I would have been able to not been crippled by that thunder wave, and things would have been a lot easier this game. But that is not the case, as I did get paralyzed with Thunder Wave, and he's gonna, since I am slower now, he is gonna Psychic me, and I'm gonna fall victim to Parahax, which is not good, because 
if this wasn't if this didn't happen I would have had a lot more HP left over for Gardevoir and I guess I could have been able to stay in and do some more damage longer but I mean no big deal it's part of the game it happens so I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the shadow ball and that is gonna be one dead grunt pig as I hit him with the shadow ball and so that is a threat out the way I guess I could say because grunt pig I guess it could pretty much threaten some of my team but he's gonna go, he's gonna go into his sock and go for the earthquake I'm pretty much had no chance of surviving this uh yeah because he crits me so yeah that's why I had no chance of surviving it I remembered I had no chance of surviving, but I didn't remember why, so, yeah, that, but it's, now I remember, it's because he crit me, and so I'm gonna come into my Ludicolo, take some damage from the rocks, as he switches out to his Volbeat, and I'm gonna get a Giga Drain up, now, here I was like, I was like, oh lord, can I even take that, um, Volbeat out with the Giga Drain, but luckily I am able to take it out, and, uh, his Volbeat's gonna fade, so Ludicolo is gonna lose some HP from its life orb, and he's gonna go his Executor to counter my Ludicolo. And a size shock should be able to wreck some havoc. I was just gonna say into Ludicolo as death fodder because I had nothing else I could do with it. Now here I go to my last Pokemon, my Golem. The score here currently is two to one, and I forgot I had Sucker Punch on this Golem. I forgot. I was so mad because I realized that Sucker Punch could have changed the game a lot. And if I remembered that I had Sucker Punch, it the game could have been a lot different. But I don't know. It was. I don't know, I, but anyways, we're about, he's down to one Pokemon, and he's just going to finish me off with a close combat, and that's going to be the game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. It was a really close one. He beat me 1-0, but it was a really good battle. He's a pretty good battler, and yeah, so that's going to be it for the narration. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please remember to leave a like on the video and check out my personal channel. I do uh, LPs and Wi-Fi battles, so a lot of stuff in my channel that you might enjoy. So check out my channel, subscribe to Planet Poke, and hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out.